lot of locals and a lot of ties to the Worcester Bravehearts tonight at Fitton Field. The Holy Cross Crusaders taking on UMass Lowell. A lot of guys that you know in this game in Holy Cross's home opener tonight. The actual home opener up north. There's Zach Tower, plays for UMass Lowell. How about Joey Conso? Joey Bag of Donuts, Consul Magno, helping lead the Riverhawks, those two guys. Bottom of the six, 4-2 UMass Lowell Crusaders. Bill Schlick doubles down the left field line and the junior trying to start something up. But Lowell getting out of a jam. Ben Prada turning the fielder's choice to end the inning, just getting the runner. Shane Sandoval, former Braveheart. At second, top seventh, Nick Barry hammering a base hit. The Grafton guy at Worcester Academy setting the table. And then Barry stealing second base. And now he's in scoring position. Ben Prada, the Riverhawks square Prada. Base hit. Barry comes on to score. Five to two, UMass Lowell. Bottom of the seventh we go. Crusaders Nick Lavulo. Base hit down the left field line to lead things off. Nick's always in the, in the box score for the uh, Crusaders. But the Riverhawks reliever getting the strikeout to end the inning. Zach Tower homered earlier in the game, a solo shot. We know he can do that. How about the glove? The Auburn native flashing the glove. He is defensively sound, as they say. UMass Lowell wins it 5-2. Your final. Look at Tower. He's going to make another one. Do it, Tower. All right, let's move on. WPI and Brandeis, afternoon game at the New England Baseball Complex, home of the WPI engineer, Sean Green. Bottom of the second, dropping in a hit. That's his 100th hit for his career. And Green going to create some havoc. Stealing second. Good turf slide, and now he's in scoring position. WPI's John Caleri, line drive. Going to get down. Green coming around. And he will score. One to nothing, Engineers. Cleary with a base hit. And there he is. Top of the third, Brandeis. Ryan Tedimer with a shot over the center field wall. Solo home run ties the game at one. The judges coming back. WPI, though. Getting it done on the hill. Nick Borseri with the strikeout. And then... The throw out. Strike him out, throw him out. Nick Comey making the play out there at second. Base is loaded now. Comey going to make the play at short to his midfield mate, Vinny D'Ambrosio. WPI gets the win. 10-2. Your final. Anna Maria and Eastern Nazarene in baseball. Cam Fiorentino out of Uxbridge. Blackstone Valley Tech leading the way out there. Bottom of the first. Scoreless. Anna Maria's Joseph Fahey out of Auburn. Stealing second. Maybe he's just getting started. Lemitzer's Tanner Jacola for the Amcats with a base hit. Here comes Fahey. You're not going to get him. He's quick. 1-0. Amcats. Top of the second. Matthew Leahy with the strikeout out of Wachusett. And Leahy was awesome today for the Amcats. Bottom second. Lions starter Tyler Brown with a K. Good flow for Brown. Still second, Fahey, chopper to first, watch the speed, legs it out. Nick Fiola scores, 2-0 Anna Maria, Leahy was solid, two hitter through seven, but Eastern Nazarene wins it, 10-4 is your final. Assumption College football team is coming off a historic season that saw the Hounds win an any 10 championship and an NCAA playoff game. The program has momentum, and this spring, they're looking to build off of it. Our momentum's just good. You know, we, we haven't hit any, hit any roadblocks or anything. We continue to progress. Everything continues to build upon itself, and, and it gets better and better and better. And now, you know, we don't lose a lot on either side of the ball, and it's, it's time for us now to take this class and this, this new team and, and make sure we push it to a different level. The, the thing that we have to do right now as coaches is just make sure that we understand that because we held the trophy up at the end of the year last year, that doesn't entitle us to hold up a trophy again at the end of this year. In fact, it makes those odds even tougher because now teams understand who we are and teams are, and we're not going to walk in there and surprise anybody. Everybody knows exactly who we are. They will prepare for us and give us everything they got day in and day out. Good senior class over there at Assumption. Jared Casey out of Milford, really tough. 
helping lead the Assumption Greyhounds and a good group of sophomores that played an important role as freshmen last year. So uh, Coach Chesney knows he's got some talent coming back. If you're wondering where Kevin Shea is, maybe he's with Chesney because you know, he's been really following the Hounds for the last year plus. And so uh, he helped give us that report tonight on Assumption Football. Well, that's a scary thing, too. A team makes a run like they did last year. You expect it to be a senior-laden team, and you lose a lot. Not the case for those guys. No, and as Coach said, they didn't lose a lot of guys. Yeah. They lost some good guys, but they, did, uh, they do return a lot. And their recruiting classes the last couple of years have been really strong. They expect another good one coming in for the fall. Sounds good. Should be fun to watch. Yeah. All right, thanks, yeah. Andy. Appreciate it. All right, for Andy Lacombe, I'm Tim McComb. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 6.